In this episode, we have Italians in the restaurant, and they'll be trying Kalimantan food, which is the Indonesian part of Borneo. Today, we have my good friends Jacobo, Andrea, and Fede, who unfortunately all come from Italy. Pretty much what everybody says. Yeah. Love wow. Italian food, hate Italian people. I don't like Italians, but I like their food. Guys, sorry I'm late. Don't need traffic everywhere. So, you guys ready for Kalamantan food? Wait, Ellie, no, what are you doing? Our first guest is about to arrive. Oh, oh, unbelievable. Right. Oh, wait, right, our first guest is here. Hello, hello guys. I'm sorry, I'm also super wait, 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 wait. I love this country, to be honest. As you can see from my batik that matches with the towel, I love Indonesia. And I've tried a lot of Indonesian food, and I'm a biggest fan, to be honest. So on the menu today, we have three popular dishes from Kalamantan. But before we give out the food, let's see if our Italian guests know where Kalimantan is. Kalimantan is here. East Kalimantan actually is here. The new capital of Jakarta will be moving in Balipapa, if I'm not mistaken, isn't it? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be here. Let's have a look. Okay, Kalimantan. It's supposed to be around here. Right, right, that's very small islands on the right. <laughs> this is actually Kalimantan. So Fede managed to point out South Sulawesi, whilst Andreas managed to pick out North Maluku. Let's just hope the Italians' taste buds are better than their geography. So our first dish today is Quetiao Cesio, a colourful pasta-looking dish. Looks really nice, sir. Looks uh, tantic. You speak Bahasa? Sidikit. And I'm Sekali. Delicious, I love it. Great combination. Meat, pasta, veggies, there is everything you need, you know? All the composition is perfect. And this kind of pasta, remind me, tagliatelle. Tagliatelle is a kind of pasta we have. Um, and it's almost the same, eh? the same size, same texture, so pretty good, guys. If you were to rate this dish out of 10, what would it be? I would give it a 7.5. 7.5, okay? Oh, yeah. I'd give it a 7. 7 out of 10. No, honestly, I would say 10. A 10 out of 10? Yes. <laughs> Jack, that is our first 10 we've ever given on this show. That is fantastic. 10 out of 10? Definitely. So I'm not quite sure how we're going to be to 10, but, but we've got Kambang Taho. You may open your eyes. Mm. It looks like a panna cotta that's been there for a while. That's been, yeah, that's been gone for a while. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look that chantic like the one before. But uh, I never judge book for the cover. That is uh, kind of questionable. That's a very polite way of saying you don't think it smells very nice. It reminds me something we have in Italy. It's like budino, like a sort of porridge. Mm. Kind of panna cotta also, I would Ooh. say. So it's like a mixture between the two. Yes, exactly. It's like the susu. But I'm not sure. And also something sweet. There's something sweet inside. It is sweet for sure. 100% sweet. Mm, but I like it. Mm, I'm gonna mix it a bit and I'm gonna try this. Mmm. Mm. There must be some tea in it. There is some ginger. You're correct. Where is some ginger in there? First time I try Kalimantan food, to be honest. Really good. Mm. Honest rating. Good, honest guys. Rating. It's sweet. Uh, there is some ginger, ginger inside. Uh -huh. There is ginger. Yes, I made it. Flavor wise, it's delicate. Delicious. Delicate. <laughs> what, what, how can flavor wise be <laughs> delicate? <laughs> Would you have this for breakfast? Like instead of your Marta back with coffee? Marta back for coffee is the best option I have so far, <laughs> but um, I wouldn't mind. Maybe mix it with something else because I need a lot of energy in the morning. I don't know how many calories it has, but I burn a lot of calories in my day. So it's good, but I'm afraid if I eat this one only, I will be starving again in two hours. So this one as a dessert wouldn't really do, you know, his job, you know? So I will keep my panna cotta for dessert. And am I gonna get this one for breakfast? So I really try to, to, to experience the different taste, different flavor for different island. And Kalimantan, Borneo has been always one of the most interesting places, to be honest, for me. That's why this kind of food really deserves the rate I'm giving, to be honest. So if you had a choice between Kombang Taho and Panna Cotta, which one would you choose? Well, that's two different things. I mean, Panna Cotta we're using to have it as a dessert. So this one as a dessert wouldn't really do, you know, his job, you know. So I will keep my panna cotta for dessert. And am I gonna get this one for breakfast? That's, that works. A rating out of ten? I will keep it as a seven, yeah. Seven out of yeah. ten. Okay, reasonably good. Reasonably, yeah. This is good also. Not ten, but uh, 8.5. I'll give it a 7.5. 7.5? Yeah. That's good one. That's pretty good, well done. Nice. Roti Kukus Shrikaya. Oof. 
Green is my favorite color. So among all the colors, I have a lot of green clothes, for instance. Uh, in food, it's a bit unexpected. In Italy, we don't have many green food, only pesto. So it's gonna be interesting to try this. I think, uh, from what I see, this is roti. This is bread. I'm pretty sure about it. Looks like bread. Looks like Indonesian bread, which is which is nice. Like steam, steam, Indonesian bread. That's how they do it usually, mm -hmm. which is pretty good. The color, I have no idea how they make this color, to be honest. Looks like a dessert again, I guess. Can I try it? <laughs> yeah. It might taste like green. Please. Interesting. Come on, Mmm. Super good. This is jam inside. There's some sort of fruit. They made some jam out of this fruit, I think. I don't know which jam it is, but we should combine this one with the other one. Like what I do with martabak and cappuccino, maybe this one, the bread with a jam, and then I dip it in the other one. This one with the ginger before. Perfect. Does it work like this for breakfast? You want, you want to try it? Let me try it. Okay, yeah. but before you do that, just give this a rating out of 10. This one, 8.5 as well. 8.5? Maybe, maybe even 9, eh? This is good. Well, you've got you to choose one. Nine, 9, I would say 9. Yeah, the first one was the best. I would say this one second. And then uh, the porridge, um, third, I would say. I give this as a sweet snack. Nine out of ten. Wow! Like wow. 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 wow! I will say nine, eight. Eight out of ten. Well, what we're going to do now is actually bring over the porridge. This is the first time I think someone do this in Indonesia, but maybe it works, eh? We are going behind the scenes. I do it, guys. I think it's a good option. This is what I do with martabak and in croissant and, and martabak as a croissant and a cappuccino. So maybe. Mmm, my God. They're super good. It's good. And that? And that's a calling. And a rating out of 10? Together, 10. 10. <laughs> wow, very good. I think you just introduced a brand new cuisine, a brand new dish for Indonesia. So in last place, we have Kembang Tahu. In second place, we have Kwatio Chesio, which means the winner of today's episode is Roti Kukus Strikaya, with an incredible average rating of 8.6 out of 10, which puts it joint top of the overall leaderboard alongside Soto I Am. The bottom two dishes so far are Rujak Chinjur and Nasi Tempong that were both reviewed in last week's episode. Next time, the Benson family will be here trying delicious Indonesian desserts, including my dad who's never tried Indonesian food before. If you would like to feature in an upcoming episode, then send me a message on Instagram and I'll see you guys in the Lawrenceverse very soon.